don't know who that is, but yeah, Dao Kan's a really interesting character and hard to fight against with heavies, unless you're like really knowledgeable in the matchup. And Kova, I'm not Kova. Buffalo would surprise me if he was just somehow god tier at this matchup. Having a hitbox on the recovery is really important in this matchup because that can will just absolutely obliterate you if you do not. Keeping control of the stage really well. Gonna take the first stock from Buffalo without hardly taking any percent. Sparky is so good. How we just place himself on the ledge with that can coming. Character like Donkey Kong doesn't have a lot of answers for that. He's just kind of got to wait it out. Uh, that would be too good. That's probably too good. He needs something like that to win this game. I feel because Sparky's control of the stage and just this character in general is gonna absolutely dem devastate you if you can't capitalize on the times you are in. Let's go. <laughs> you can smell that roll coming. Okay, up, up air. I am, huh? I don't think I've ever seen him miss that. Here, it's not gonna be the punish. Oh, he loves that up B. That up B is just so good for all Donkey Kong's but Sparky that up air. That up air is so strong, and if you're catching an opponent landing at a high percent like that, it's just game over. Oh. That coverage was insane. Buffalo is still getting out of it though. That kind of, that's it. Good awareness from Buffalo for getting that off me and we had to land. Or at least was gonna. But he's gonna need something major to bring this back. And I think I know exactly what that is for him. Probably gonna try to go for that stage bike once he gets some decent percent on him. I wouldn't put it past him. It works. Oh. Damn. Sparky's controls of these projectiles, on the ledge especially, are just so good. Okay, not gonna be it yet. Up there from the can, catching a high recovery. Gonna be it for Buffalo. Oh, what's good, Potato? Hmm. I am a little biased here just because because of the heavy, you know. But still, like Sparky, I think he's a kid or something, and that's still like really impressive. And I want to see him do well too. So it's just the slightest. Yeah, slightest bias towards the DK Buffalo. No more. That's why I don't get paid. Oh, but, but, uh, Rose. Oh, okay. Huh. Buffalo's Rosalina. I don't know if he. He even has one. This just might be, hey, you can't use projectiles anymore, haha. Let's see. So far, it doesn't really look like he has too much of one, but... Oh, I can do that, actually. I'll give him some credit. Maybe he's got something up his sleeve we don't know about. That's all it's nice. Ooh. Not using down B as much as he should to get out of these situations. When Sparky's got like a million projectiles on the field. Off stage. Rosalina has a really good time edge guarding in general, I feel, especially against Duck Hunt. But the thing is, like if you go too far out and you have to upbeat a recovery, you're gonna be in a terrible space. And Sparky's gonna have you at the ledge again. 
So he should only really be going for these edge guards if he knows he can get it. If he gets like a jump read, maybe. Tries to two frame. But other than that, I don't see off stage being too good for bubble. Like that. Right like that. Sparky, that awareness with the down there was so clean. He had that time perfectly. As Buffalo would go with Rosalina, just because this character kind of feels like they're just a light heavy. Because the hits that Rosalina has, it's hit hard. Catching the roll on with the forward smash. Good looks from Sparky. The way the second game is going, I think he probably just should have stuck with the DK, but back in wasn't too good either, so I get going with that, and he's gonna quit. Alright, well, he's still got the loser's round.